Welcome to episode 5 of the Mbappe career mode. We are currently around late January and Mbappe has gotten 40 goals and 17 assists in just 28 games. That is insane. He has also racked up 6 million pounds and with that money we are going to be doing something pretty incredible. So a couple episodes back he bought his stylish penthouse and he doesn't want to live there anymore so he has put that out for rent and this time around he wants to purchase a mansion in Spain. A European style mansion also going to be kind of modern so five million five hundred twenty five thousand pounds and it's a deal baby Eight hundred heartbeat points for that. That is pretty interesting. So I think we have um, a couple. I think we should be close to tier five around now. Oh, never mind. We still have like a ways to go. I still feel like we're going to get to tier six before the end of the season, though. But anyways, now that Mbappe has bought a house, he's more comfortable in Spain. He's living the life. It's been like six months thereabouts, and I mean, it took him six months. So I mean, I really don't mind. So well, we have a couple matches in this episode, and we have the round of sixteen match in the Champions League against Bayern Munich. That is going to be the toughest match that we will play in this video so far. But I mean, I don't think there's like tougher opponents than Bayern when it comes to the Champions League, to be honest. But recently, maybe not. But like Bayern, Manchester City, thereabouts. First order of business, though, we have Hitake, but I'm going to be simulating the match because I'm really not interested in playing them. We do win the match. It was really close. Rodrigo got a goal. And next up, we have Almeria, who is currently sitting bottom of the league. So it's first, so it's 20th again. I don't really want to waste too much time on playing the teams on the lower half of the table. So I'm just going to be simulating all those matches. So hopefully we do get... Are you sure you want to skip to the end? Okay, yeah, never mind. Um, hopefully we do win all of these. We win again. Valverde and Vinicius um, score. Which means that we haven't scored in two matches in a row, though. That is crazy. I believe that's the first time this is happening. But anyways, we have the Copa the Espania match against Real Sociedad. Um, do I want to play the full match of this though? I think I will. We have um, Real Sociedad, then we have Atletico Madrid. I already played against Atletico Madrid, so I wouldn't um, play the full match for this. So I'm probably going to play this one, then play the Bayern one, and then probably play the second leg of the Bayern match over here. So that would be like clearing almost like two months. Wait, did I say I was going to play this? Never mind. I'm not going to play the full match of it. I'm going to play the highlights as Mbappe. And let's see what we can do in this match. All right, the usual complete two passes as the enhanced objective. Corner kick for Real Madrid. They have already scored a goal. That is mental. That is mental. Can we find Militao here? I think we've done it once before. I believe we can do it again. Hopefully it works out. He does get ahead on it, but it's just wide. I need like a solo run right now. And I also need Kamavinga to like try and be a lot smarter with these crosses to be honest but you can definitely get it to me can't you N never mind he's completely botched it oh god all right so counter attack i might go with the ball here no i'm not but i feel like um this might actually end up with a goal he's going to pass the mini all right definitely go right oh my god i was so nervous there i thought i had completely fucked it up because I actually wasn't expecting to like tap it, but I mistakenly tapped it. But I mean, we still end up like equalizing, so that is a good thing. Um, cross number six for Real Madrid. We have another one. We haven't scored with like one of these in a while. But can you get this to me? That's not offside. Oh shit, was offside. But that would have been so good. But I mean, he didn't even score either ways. We can definitely get past this guy, right? Definitely, right? Okay, Vinicius, don't fuck it up. maybe thank you all right that's exactly what we needed that's exactly what we needed i just dropped off from the defender I was in a very good position and he shot it blasted with his left foot and keeper had no freaking chance with that all right so we have another penalty here i'm going to go down the middle um not really too much power I'm just going to tap it let's hope the keeper that's very good if this guy's equalized that's going to be so sad but we have um, a chance for a power shot here but rodrigo is in a very good position oh my god how did i what happened there all right we still won the match that is good but we could have i could have gotten a hat trick in this match but we fucking botched the freaking penalty 
Yeah, imagine what the panic I did. That would be so embarrassing. There, but still, good match from Mbappe. Good match from, from Real Madrid. We are through to the quarterfinals. And we're probably going to be facing um, maybe um, Sevilla or Celta. I'm not sure how it works. But anyway, we have another league match against Las Palmas. These guys are actually kind of good. So I'm going to play the... Um, highlights for this as well like they are the ones that drew against real madrid in the la liga last weekend though weren't they i mean i don't care to be honest but we are currently first sitting first with 52 points um five points ahead of alesco madrid barcelona has dropped all the way down to fifth position that is crazy but we have a game at hand though so if we win this one against las palmas which we should easily by the way unless the game decides to fuck me up um, we will now go up to eight points ahead of them but the beginning of this season was really kind of iffy because i mean we kept on drawing lots of matches but right now we've been on, on quite a winning streak and i'm really happy with that so let's see um what we can do in this match obviously i'm going to enhance the passes all the time but anyways um subscribe you know subscribe because you should just subscribe so subscribe it's free you know all right vinicius get this back to me bellingham no I, I i was i was caught dreaming there to be honest i don't know what the hell i was doing i was looking i wasn't even looking at my player i was looking at um freaking bellingham and looking at the run he was making but let's try and get this to militao again can you get a header on it you do but it's just not um it's just not good enough all right is this our ball or for rodrigo i don't know but i mean we're going to get it out to him either ways oh What the hell? We weren't able to do anything with that. Alright, so 35th minute. Um, we have Vinicius and, and Rodrigo either side of us. But I don't really know what to do. Okay. What the hell is that pass? I swear to God, I can't make like two good passes with Mbappé. Alright, counter attack. This is looking... See, I don't understand why they just stop running. It makes no fucking sense to me. Alright, so in the second minute, and we haven't scored a goal yet. That is not very good. But I think um this might either be the last chance or or not. But it's the I mean we do get a goal either way. That was actually kind of lucky for us to get the ball back there. But I mean a goal is a goal, and I really hope that these guys do not equalize. Do they? We, no, they don't. All right, so we do win the match yet again. A 1-0 win. We have scored in yet another match. I think we scored the most amount of goals in the last episode alone because 27 goals to 40 goals is really crazy. But anyways, we do win the man of the match here as well. Now I'm curious to see how many man of the match awards I have in just this season. All right, so we have 25. We have 25. And I think we have played how many games? Uh, 32 games. That is, that is mental. That is fucking mental, to be honest. Next up, we have Hitafe. We have already played them in this episode, though. We simulated the first match. And let's hope that we can repeat the victory against them in the Copa de, de España. We can. Now, we score. Um, in the fourth minute, Vinicius and Camavinga get the other goals in the team. And we are through to the semi-finals of the Copa de España. Um, Atletico Madrid is also in there. RC Celta has defeated Betis. And Sevilla is yet to play their match against Cardiz. I can't believe Barcelona is not in here though. They got knocked out in the when? In the round of 32 against Amori Bay. The crazy thing is that they were doing so well at the beginning of the season. I just didn't expect them to be 13 points behind us at this point. Next up, we have Atletico Madrid who is currently third on the league table. They have a game at hand. And if we do win them, then Athletic Bilbao is going to be on second place permanently. So I would really like to do them a favor. But um, I don't know how tough playable highlight is going to be against a good team like Atletico Madrid. So I really hope that we can come out with the win in this match. So um, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's get into the match. Right, we have a counter attack. And I'm not expecting anything out of this right now. Because I'm in a very interesting position. But exactly. Uh, let's turn back. Bellingham. No mistake. All right, it gets blocked. I mean, we still got a shot on goal. I don't know if it was on target though, but let's see if we can get in for a cross here and it gets blocked. All right, so we have a good chance for a counter attack here. And this might just be the first goal if Bellingham can actually make this pass very well. Please, come on. He does. He does. And this is going to be a goal? Definitely. I should have passed Vinicius. 
That love mid for why is keeping my goal though. Come on, who's there? It gets blocked. Rodrigo. Why the why the hell would you shoot? Why the hell would you try to shoot there? That is crazy. Alright, so um come on, Venga, come on. Please. Oh my, it's, 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 let's not hope. Let's not hope in that. What the fuck did he just do? That is just crazy. Alright, so we draw the match. I mean, I'm not really um mad at that. It was deserved because we did absolutely shit in this match. Even Mbappe, like me, but I'm controlling him. I did some bullshit in this match. So um we're lucky to come out with a draw. But if we played the full match, I'm pretty sure that we would have won. But I mean it's all good. I believe that we have lost just one match in the entirety of this um season. That is crazy. We lost just one. We've drawn five and we've won 17 out of the 23 that we have played. Next up though, we have Sevilla in the semi-finals of the... So I think it's like a double leg thing. It's a double leg thing, definitely. So we are going to not play this one. We're going to simulate this one and then we'll play this second one. Then we'll play the match against Bayern last. All right, semi-finals of the Copa de España. Let's hope that we can get a good result here. If we get a good one... No, never mind. I was going to say if we get a good one, then I wouldn't need to play the last one, the second leg. But... Um, 3-2 is quite tight, so I'm going to play the full match for the second leg. We didn't score in that match though, but it's all good. Next up, we have the match against Corona. They are currently fourth on the table, so I'm going to play the highlights of this one. I mean, if I play the highlights, there's a very big chance that we might not even um, take the win in that match. So I think I'm just going to simulate it and hope for the best because, I mean, we have been on good form recently so i don't really think that we should lose or draw in the simulation to be honest but let me look at the standings real quick to see if we have leeway we do we have quite a bit of leeway so i think i'm going to simulate this one against hero and i shouldn't but i really want to because i don't want to like spend so much time on this episode alone do we score no we don't alaba rodrigo Oh, we actually missed the penalty. I mean, typical me. All right, next up is the round of 16 against Bayern. This is going to be quite the tough match. I'm going to be simulating. No, never mind. I'm going to be playing the highlights of the first leg. Then I'll be playing the full match of the second leg. So, um, Bayern is going to be tough. We are in their home stadium at that. First order of business is a very, very interesting free kick. But Neuer has this covered, obviously. But um, let's see if we can best him here. I didn't even look at Mbappe's curve there. Like, what is his curve? Is this, is this going to be okay? I hope this is going to be okay. Uh, I think that is too much power. But, yeah, it was too much power. It was way too much power. But I really, really like that. To be honest. But anyways, uh, we should have put that away. Kamavinga. Oh, shit. I mean, that would have been so good. The volley was on there like mad. Alright, still 0-0. Um, zero, zero. So, I mean, let's see if Kamavinga can do better here with the cross. He should be able to. Oh my god, Vinicius, come on, score it. I mean, that was definitely going for me, but I mean, I got um, impeded by the defender. But Vinicius was able to clean up the mess, and well, that is 1 0 for us. All right, this is not going to be um, a good position for a cross. I mean, it, it would have been actually. What is Kamavinga doing? And that is a very bad call for pass from me. That was like just me being very stupid there, to be honest. But um, we have a free kick. I have an idea. It's really ambitious, but can I do it? No, I cannot because he gets blocked easily. But Bellingham, no, you don't get it. All right, so we lost the ball. All right, so tell, tell me that it's a win. All right, so we do win it in their home stadium. So we have to go to the Bernabeu now. Or rather, they're going to come to the Bernabeu to get whooped in the um, semi-final. Sorry, round of 16. Sorry, second leg. I actually like this cutting a lot. It's so interesting to look at to be honest next up we have Ryan Vallecano I don't think we're going to score as many goals as we did in the last episode because I'm actually simming quite a lot in this one and uh, we do win again Rodrigo gets the one goal that gets us to win we have the Sevilla match at home next and I'm not going to play this because we have them right after this fixture and I really don't want to like play them back to back so I'm going to simulate this one then play the second leg of the Copa del Rey against Sevilla and then I probably like play the highlights of this before I go into the um, final match of the episode which is the round of 16 second leg against Bayern Munich so let's hope that we can come up with a win here we haven't lost in quite a while so we do score so we, we do win but Rodrigo gets a brace that is good for him 
He's actually scoring quite a lot now, to be honest. And now we have the match that we have been waiting for in this episode. The first full match that we're going to play in this episode, which is actually coming at the end, which is crazy. But um, it's against Sevilla. And this will mean that we are... This a win here would mean that we are going to the... Um, finals of the Copa de España, um, our second trophy of this season. So hopefully, hopefully we can win it. The stage is set and the tension is palpable. That's what Alex Scott is saying in my ears right now. And um, let's look at the objectives real quick before we jump into the match. Get, get an 8.5 match rating. Obviously, I'm going to be enhancing this one, lose or draw. Get two um, short on target. I think I should be able to do that quite easily. Alright, that's a good pass. Rodrigo gave back to me. And oh my god, the defender did really well there. He did really well there. Alright, we still have the ball. Bellingham. Oh, I was actually going, I was actually trying to give that to Valverde, but I mean Bellingham was still in a very good position to shoot. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I think that's the first time in this series that they are scoring me first in a full match. That is mad. All right, Yusuf An Yusuf Anasiri was the one to do it. All right, can I do something special here? Ah, oh, that was so close. That was so close. I mean, I want one of those to like go in in a camera mode video. So I've done it like normally, like I tried to do it before and it went in. But I mean, it would be so cool if those if one of those go in. To be honest, I will keep trying it till power shots like leave the game. Which I hope never happens. Alright, they're keeping a really high line and I need to find a way to like quickly get around it. Um I, I don't I don't understand what the hell that was. Like that just made like the most least sense of all the passing options that he had there. Oh my god, and she has another chance and he, oh my god, he freaking chips Courtois. That is crazy. And with that, that going to be like 4-3 on Argigate. So this is this is bad. This is really bad. I can't believe he actually chips. What the hell is the defense doing? What the hell is the defense doing though? Like, why are we like all over the place all of a sudden? I was like really overconfident even after they scored the first goal, but now that they like they're ahead on aggregate, it's it's like way worse. All right, that is good. Can we give something with this? Oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe how bloody stupid this game can be sometimes. Like, I swear to god, they are legit actually out here trying to make me lose this match. Like, it's completely obvious, to be honest, because... I mean, that pass from Kamavinga to Vinicius was just wild. Alright, they can't score another goal. Oh my god, was I safe? I think I was safe from Courtois. Alright, so this is proving to be um, very nerve-wracking, to be honest, because I've never been in this position in this series at all. Since, since episode one, I have not been in this position, so it's quite... I, I'm quite nervous. Because, <laughs> I mean... I mean, it's not the final, but the semi-final. And they say like, the semi-final is the worst to lose out of all of them. Alright, so Mbappe, can you do this alone? Not really. Vinicius, get this back to me. Ugh, it's a simple pass. It, it was a simple fucking pass. Alright, so... Nice. Okay. Maybe... Oh, the keeper was able to save it. I wasn't even looking at it. There was like a passing option there. I did not see at all. I just needed to like get the ball in the back of the net ASAP. Alright. Maybe this time. And that is just wide. I mean, he didn't even shoot it very well. I don't know what the hell happened there. Honestly, we're just being very, very unlucky in our in our attacks. And I swear to God, if they score this, that's going to be like the worst thing that can ever happen. Like my team is just making some really, really dumb passes without me even calling for pass. Like they just like, I don't even know what they're doing in this match to be honest. But man, I need I need like a sliver of hope in this. Modric, if any. Oh my God. Oh my God. I call for the pass and they don't do anything. It's when I get way offside that they now decide to pass the fucking ball to me. Makes no bloody sense. All right, that's perfect. Perfect. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! That pass was just the worst. We had like there were so many scenarios that they could have gotten me in behind. Like I could have gotten in behind, but Modric decided to pick the worst one out of all of them. Nice from Rodrigo. All right, so we have a really good chance for. All right, come on. Like, that just makes no bloody sense. That just makes no bloody sense. 
I'm really fucking frustrated. Like, play it in between the defenders. Why are you playing it to the wings? We need a bloody miracle. Oh my god. 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 No. 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 no, no. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Oh, what? I cannot believe the referee fucking blew that there. I cannot believe he freaking blew it. Oh my god. All the just had to do was shoot. And the referee blew the whistle. This is my very first loss in this entire season. Like, I'm not counting the, that stupid loss in the um, simulation. But... Man, this is crazy. And the Siri, legit, has given me PTSD. Modric, legit, fucked that match up. I don't know what I don't know what happened to him to be honest, because he had so many opportunities to get the ball in behind. I mean we had that that um counter-attack where there was me, Vinicius and Rodrigo. He did not need to pass that to me. I called the ball for the ball earlier and gave it to fucking Valverde. I don't know why. I mean it is it, it has happened. We can't get the um troll anymore because you know we lost, so it's quite sad to be honest. It's quite sad. Um, tournament match lost. I'm going to go for a heartbeat with that. Oh god, that is so fucking painful. I need to spend money to feel better, man. So, 500 pound blown on the sports car because we lost the fucking Copa del Rey. It is what it is. So let's move on. I mean, we have the match against Bayern next, but I think we have one in between that. So that is Valencia. I'm not even in the mood to play this Valencia match. Like on God, I'm not in the mood at all. So I'm just going to simulate it and hope for the best. We don't win it. We draw it. That's yet another draw in the league. Like that's following the one against um, Atletico Madrid. So I think that is actually going to hurt our um, La Liga hopes a tiny bit. I mean, we are still um, far away from them. I think that is eight points you want to say eight points away from them that's just like three matches for them to be honest like if we lose all three and they win all three but i mean that's not possible there's no way i am losing like three matches in a row we had a one goal difference in the last one we we're ahead of them by one goal and we still lost the match so bayern is a way tougher team than sevilla but i hope that um we're able to like re reproduce the performances we, we we had against against atletico madrid and um barcelona in the in the league all right we need to cheer the fuck up complete four passes in, in the opponent's half that's what i'm going to be um focusing on i mean i'm not going to focus on it i mean it's just going to happen because you know obviously i'm going to make those passes oh no all right that's good from Militao. get this to me rodrigo don't waste time please all right valverde i see you that is good please make a run for it please make a bloody run for it please score it thank you my assist oh my god he doesn't score it he doesn't freaking score it man that is crazy that is crazy. All right, we go again. Kind of. Rodrigo, come on, man. What the hell are you doing? Oh, my God. All right, the one time that we had it off match. Oh, oh my God. Oh. There is a crack with that. I mean, should I have gone near post? I don't know. But that is a, that's such a really good save. All right, can we do this again? Maybe. I mean, he does. I was straight at him, so I mean, he was definitely going to save it. But Vinicius. Oh. I'm, I'm outside. I was outside. Crap. Hey. This time around. Maybe. Keeper does make a save again. And I mean, Mbappe is lighting him up. Let's hope this one works this time around. Maybe. Shit. I tried to go near post with that to catch keep off guard because I mean that shot has some sting on it, man. Alright, Bellingham, you need to chill. Alright, that is great. Work from Mbappe. I think we are through. Just need to blast it and oh my god. I am so unlucky in this episode. I am so bloody unlucky in this episode, man. Jeez, I think I should have gone near post there, but I mean I've already done it. Let's not Look back on it. Let's try and score the next one. All right, that is good. Vinicius, I need you to score this, no matter what. I need to score this, no matter what. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's the first goal of the match by Vinicius, assisted by me. Waited for him to make that perfect run. I gave it to him in behind the defenders, and well, 
That is 1-0 and 2-0 on aggregate. So, I mean, I think we have a little bit of breathing room now against a team like Bayern. No way they're going to score. No way they're going to score from that. What the hell? All right, Kotoa, come on. Get this to Mbappe real quick, real quick, real quick. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God, man. All right, Vinicius. Again. But this time, I'm going to give it back to me. Get it to me, you twat. Bellingham. All right, please score it. Thank you. All right, that's two assists in the space of like five minutes. And that is home win. I mean, I don't think I'm going to lose this match anymore. I mean, with the confidence that I have right now, with the assists I'm giving right now, on that same way, Vinicius did really well to get that back to me. And it was really close. Kimmich should have gotten that, but I mean, we're able to get it to Bellingham just in time. All right, kicking off the second half. And we have had an amazing first half. 9.0 match rating with two assists we've also made some really really incredible runs we've had a couple goals that didn't like cover for us jesus that's a red card isn't it tell me that's a red card please tell me that's a red it's not looking like a red i don't think it's a red all right that's sad oh, it's a yellow no all right that's a good save from courtois all right we have another chance here okay vinicius hold the ball Oh my god, what was that? Can we do something here? And um, that is a very disgusting tackle. And that, that deserves to be a red card because what the hell was that? Alright, so I think we have a chance for a free kick here. We might score our first free kick of the series, of the season, if we score here. And this is looking quite promising. We had a free kick against Bayern in the, in the first leg. So let's see if I can... Learn from my mistakes and get a goal here. It hits the fucking post. Jesus, I'm, I'm I'm coming so close every single time. Stay with the ball. Can we score? Ugh, that was close. That was close. I think keeper had that covered though. I don't even know how they always end up with the ball to be honest, but I mean, Kotoa is doing really well in this part. Right, Vinicius has gone off for Brahim. And we have a possible counter here. Maybe Rodrigo, come on. No? Alright, I, I guess that's okay. Alright, so we have a good chance here to score. I think we are through on goal. I don't think we're going to miss this though. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, can you get this to me? Definitely you can. And we have another chance to score here. We do. And finally, we get our freaking goal. Finally. In the last fucking second. <laughs> okay, that's, that's perfect. That is perfect. He finally did the outer for what I want him to do. The defenders had no chance here. I think that's Nuno Mendes. Had no chance whatsoever. And that is a really good goal for Mbappe. 3 0 in the match, 4 0 on aggregate. And I think that's the end of the match there. Yeah, so we have one Bayern, we are through to the quarterfinals. I wonder who we're actually going to play against. But we actually did really well in this match. We had two assists, a lot of shots on goal. So anyway, this is the end of the episode. Real Madrid is currently five points ahead of um, Atletico Madrid. But yet again, we have a game at hand. So we'll be going on um, eight points if we win our match against Celta in the next episode. And then as for his goals, yeah, he didn't actually do a lot in this episode. He scored just six in the entire episode. It's not great compared to the previous episodes where we've been banging goals left right and center but i think it's actually mainly because we simulated a lot so we didn't really like have a lot of chances to score a lot of goals so i mean i don't really mind all that much because i mean 46 goals is still crazy i said at the beginning that we're going to that we're probably going to score like 50 goals and the thing is we are not even close to the end of the season i think we're in um february i think we're in march all right yeah we are in march so we have like two months to go and we have almost 50 goals already so i think we're probably going to get like 60 goals at the end if we actually like move at the same pace that we did in this episode i mean either way thank you guys for watching if you have enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know in the comment section what player you'd like to see me do this with after mbappe and uh, i'll see you in my next video peace